Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. We have successfully completed the association with the products and the categories with the user. Now it's time for us to work on the cart page. So cart page we have already worked when we are working with the file system when we are trying to save the data data using the file system. Now it's time for us to implement the same cart functionality using this SQL MySQL thing. So first we need to understand how we should implement the cart cart in our e-commerce page and what are the associations that are required for this cart page. Let's try to see. I will open the notepad and I will show you how it will be implemented. So if I am opening this notepad in this notepad. So here let's assume that we are having a products. Okay. We are having the products and we will have a cart page. Okay. So cart belongs to the user so carts belongs to the user so you user has a cart right so user has a cart in the same scenario cart belongs to the user and a user can have how many cards user can have only one cart only he will be having only one cart in the e-commerce every time when the user logs in he will be having only one cart so that means user has one cart user has one cart and the cart belongs to the user so the relation between the cart and the user we got it now it's time for us to find the relation between the cart and the products. So this is also one of the important thing. What is that cart we can have? Cart can have many products, right? So cart can have many products. Cart has many products. <clears throat> so now a product belongs to a cart? No, product does not belongs to single cart. Product belongs to a many carts. Why? Because many carts can have a same product into their cart. Okay, see, uh, so, so for example, two cards can have the same product. So that means here I can say that product belongs to many cart. So this is the main concept you need to understand. This is called as an many to many relationship. So here we are having one to many relationship. Sorry, uh, one to one relationship. But here we are having one to many, many to many relationship. Whereas the product and user we will be having one to many relationship user can have many products but a product belongs to only one user so there one to many one to one and also here many to many now if you try to observe many to many means so what we need to do is so for implementing this many to many we need to have an intermediate table that is nothing but we can say it as cart item anything cart products or cart anything whatever the thing you want you can keep it so i am keeping it as a cart item so that means you will be having a cart and this cart item intermediate table maintains the association between the cart and the products because of this many to many relationship and this cart item will have a uh, fields of id and we can also have a quantity so for which product how much quantity in each cart it is having and also we can have a cart id to which cart it belongs and also the product id to which uh, what is the product it is having so this is how the relationship actually it will be so cart item id quantity cart id and product id so let's try to see how we can achieve this one. So let's create a cart model. In our thing, if I go into this one, so we have a two models we need to define. That is cart model and also a cart item model. And here let's go into the model. And here I am creating first one is the cart model. Cart model dot js file. And here let's in initialize the SQLize. So this SQLize is nothing but the SQLize which we have created a database object. <clears throat> require of and here utils so it will take the utils slash database so this is the sequelize and here i will be adding constant cart is equal to i can add it here constant cart equal to sequelize dot define so we will be having dot define and in this one i will be having cart so we should have a list of all the column names so first column name is the id and here we will be having type data types data types dot begin i can maintain a begin and hello null false so we can keep it this one also and this is a primary key and this is also true and last one is an auto increment so you can have an auto increment and i am keeping this one also as a true okay so that's it so the cart has this one user id we can add the relationship between those two so in the associations automatically it will be created now the next one what we will be having is the cart item model so let's create here 
cart item model dot js file so in this cart item dot js file constant sqlize is equal to require utils slash database and here sql sorry constant cart item is equal to sqlize dot define sorry define and here i'll be having cart item sorry cart item and in this one we'll be having id and in this id type is equal to data types dot begin data types dot begin and the another one will be having primary key oh sorry primary key of true and the another one will be having is the hello null of false and last one is the auto increment of true so these are the relations which you'll be having cart item and the last one what we can have is the quantity quantity oh sorry these all things will not exist right quantity and the type is data types dot integer we can have an integer oh not this one integer and this one also hello null of false hello null of false that's it so we are having this quantity and an id these are the cart items and i can do module dot exports is equal to cart item so we have created the two tables there is nothing but a cart details so it contains of only uh, sorry not this one cart details and this contains of oh, where is this cart model yeah cart model and here it consists of only id and you will be having an association with the user id and we are having another one is in cart item model so this also contains the association with that one so now we have defined these all things let's try to create the associations with this with the cart and the cart item and the product let's go to the app.js and here we are having and here i can add one user has one cart so that is it one thing which i can write user has one cart so where is that cart we are reading only cart item so is there any wrong i have written or what here okay i didn't export it here that is the reason we are not getting the cart fine now here i can have user has only one cart and what are the things we are having category product these all things are not necessary so next comes the cart cart dot belongs to okay belongs to user so cart and the user relationship is completed now the cart and the product relationship the product product dot belongs to belongs to many cart okay product belongs to many cart so what is intermediate table so you need to add through cart item so through the cart item it will be belonging so here also you can write cart belongs to many product cart belongs to many product and here you can add through cart item through cart item that's it <coughs> So now a product can have a product can belong to many cart and a cart can belongs to many product. So a cart can have many products. So that is the relationship between having the intermediate table which we are trying to maintain is the cart item. Now let's try to run it. So here I am using the sync force true so that we can create all the tables. Now it has been created. It is starting. It is dropping all the tables and all the tables have been created. So let's try to see in the MySQL workbench. So here if I try to refresh this all the uh, tables and this is the cart item. Okay. So this cart item is having a combination of product ID and the cart ID. So product ID and cart ID. This is then we can say it as a pivot table or intermediate table. So what is the thing you will be calling it as? So what is the name terminology we can use it? So this is the table and here you can have the carts. So this one is associated with the user ID and the products and users. These are all common. 
so this is how you will be creating many to many relationship between the cart and the products with the user hope you understood about the associations how we have created so in the next session we will try to design the cart and we will try to add the products and all those things to the cart let's try to see it hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you